You trying to look as manly as possible? No, I'm just thirsty. <laughs> it's my channel, I do what I want. <laughs> President Roosevelt was a man composed of pure Boltanium, and he was so keen to make sure everybody knew this fact that he had every single portrait of himself that didn't make him look like a complete badass, totally and utterly destroyed. So are we talking about the official presidential portraits? Yes we are. For anyone who doesn't know, it is tradition for any sitting president of the United States to have a portrait painted of themselves so people in the future know what they look like and how much old timey ass they got. <laughs> so who was in charge of painting Roosevelt's portrait? Well initially the task of scouring his manly mug into the canvas was given to one Theobald Chatran and he didn't do a very good job because President Roosevelt reportedly hated the portrait Chatran painted of him. As an aside, President Roosevelt's wife positively gushed over the portrait Chatran painted of her because it showed her sat daintily on the White House lawn wearing a large fetching hat even the most stylish of pimps would be jealous of. So why did Roosevelt hate his portrait? He wasn't a fan of how the portrait that Chatran painted didn't capture his aura of power and he really, really disliked how much of a pussy it made him look. So did he get it destroyed? Not at first, because he couldn't do that because obviously the president can't have their official portraits destroyed for no reason. So knowing that he had to have it displayed somewhere, he put it in, and I quote, the darkest corner of the White House which is the area of the White House I'm assuming wasn't constantly basking in the ethereal beam of light Teddy Roosevelt's giant ass smile gave off at all times. <laughs> I'll admit, we've all done it out. We've all taken bad pictures of ourselves. We've all taken like bad selfies. But can you imagine if you took a really, really bad selfie or a picture and then not only did you have to make it like your profile picture across all social media, you had to have it hung in your house. <laughs> taken some really bad photos and I love bad photos of me and I don't really give that much of a shit about it but there are some that I would like I don't want that on my wall I don't want that on display I don't want that to be the official representation of me that people centuries down the line when they look up my name go oh that's what Carl Small would look like no I don't want that <laughs> and I can see I can see where Roosevelt's coming from where it's like I hate this painting and this is how future generations will remember Teddy Roosevelt and he's like I don't like it I hate this, this sucks, get rid of it. I should point out that Roosevelt's family knew that he hated his portrait and would constantly refer to it as the mewing cat whenever he was around, purely because they knew that it annoyed him. <laughs> in a fit of anger, and presumably because he hadn't killed anything in eight minutes, President Roosevelt had the painting destroyed and set about finding an artist who could capture the essence of a real man. Oh, oh I'm sorry, that won't do that. No, that's, no, that's all wrong, that's terrible. And that one, oh. When I say it like that, it just sounds like he wants someone to paint his portrait in jizz. Don't it? I want to just capture the essence of a real man. Pa paint it in my dick. No. Um. Have, you, have you heard of Picasso? Oh, everyone's heard of Picasso. If you don't know Picasso, it's the guy who paints portraits of his penis. What a weirdo. I'm not going to put a clip in, but go watch some clips. Yeah, yeah let's look up Picasso. Oh, Wanksy. Wanksy's quite good. I've never heard of Wanksy. Wanksy is a guy who uh, goes around drawing huge penises around potholes in the UK. Because he knows that if he draws a big penis around him, people will complain about it more than a regular pothole. It highlights a problem, and if you've drove around the northwest of Britain, you know you hit a lot of bottles. If they fix those holes in the road, I have nothing to paint on. And I think like Manchester Council ended up saying, we don't approve of what this gentleman is doing. And then everyone's like, no, it's funny though. Nothing seems to fill a big hole like a great big penis. The epitome of not all heroes wear capes. It is. He's a guy, Wanks is a real thing. You can look that up, that's true. He's got his own Facebook page. I think he went dark for like a year and he came back recently, in fact, in 2018. Because you notice like there's still potholes. <laughs> the rise in potholes in the country. <laughs> it was such a genius idea. Just draw a huge penis around a pothole. The council gets so embarrassed that they have to fill it in. Well, they should draw, you should put it inside the pothole because then they literally do have to fill it no, in. No, he puts it around it because yeah. then what they have to do, they, because the council couldn't be seen scrubbing it away and not repairing the pothole. So they repair the pothole at the same time. <laughs> what a hero. If you're watching Wanksy, fucking well played. Go fix the road outside my house. It's shit. So do you know what he actually did with the portrait? Like, how did he destroy it? Unfortunately, we don't know, but my current working theory is that Roosevelt simply flexed it out of existence, destroying it by exuding a wave of sexual energy. <laughs> it's like a shockwave from his, from his loins. <laughs> just, boom, just flies out. 
Do you know what, like, this is gonna be an obscure ass reference, but I'm gonna make it anyway. It, it reminds me of Future Cop LAPD. If you've not played this game, you basically control a robotic policeman who looks like Ed 209, who can transform into a car. And one of your special weapons is just this shockwave that flies out from the middle of your robo. And I feel like that's what Teddy Roosevelt did. See if you can find a picture of that. Because I know you can upgrade it in the game and it just sends out like 30 of them at once and you can do it while hopping through the air. So you can hop through downtown LA just sending out shockwaves of sex power. And that's what Roosevelt did to destroy his painting. Future Cop LAPD, man, it's great. Do you know why it's good? Why? Because uh, they have a really sarcastic um, tutorial for the multiplayer. And it tells you, like, if you have no friends, you can play against the Sky Captain, who's apparently this jerk-ass AI who constantly mocks you. Ha! Enjoy this minor success, monkey boy. It's like, every time you, every time you defeat the Sky Captain, he comes back stronger. Oh, if you want to learn anything, do the action button. Oh, you want to summon tanks? Action button. Helicopters? Action button! You know where the action button is, right? You'll need it. And I feel like he never got his due. Go play Future Cop LAPD, it's like £4 on the PS Store. Bring it back and remaster it. Remaster Future Cop LAPD, it's great. Sounds simple? I don't think so! After destroying the portrait that so offended his sensibilities, Roosevelt commissioned a new artist called John Singer Sargent to paint a new portrait. And as you can see from this, that was probably a good choice. Because that painting is so fucking badass and manly that everyone watching currently has grown chest hair on their eyeballs and spontaneously become pregnant. Just gonna leave it now for a few seconds so people can enjoy that painting. It's only just appeared. It's pretty good, isn't it? It's nice. Alright, oh, that'll do. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, lad. So you've said a couple of times now that you went online specifically to delete old photos of yourself one day. Yes, just in case this channel ever gets big and people try like Google searching my name, I made sure I scrubbed the internet clean of pictures that I didn't like. There's still a few knocking about though, probably. I, I couldn't get them all. What of interest? Human. What of interest would you rate as your worst picture? I wouldn't say it's my worst picture, but for some reason, I I think from my age 13 to about like now, every photo I ever took it did this. I don't know why. You like, do that all the time. Yeah, do you know that everyone like everyone just finds that one thing they think a pitch when they take a picture they think that looks good, and I did that in every single picture I ever took. All of my family photos from holiday, all of the ones from college, all of the ones from my like, house parties in university, just me. And the funny thing is, because I'm doing that exact pose in every single one, you can see that I've basically just not changed in nearly a decade. So I did this the other day. I looked up one of the oldest photos I've got. I think it's me stood in a like supermarket or something like that, trying on a shirt. Because I was like, oh, mad lad. Tried on a shirt in a shop without intending to buy it. And I gave it a goofy thumbs up like that. And I compared it to one of me on like vacation last year. And I'm doing the exact same pose. And the only thing that's different is I've suddenly learned to stand up straight. <laughs> so I'll send you the two photos. You can put them behind me. And like that one is when I was young. I think I'm like 14. 15 in that because it's before I started dyeing my hair so it's definitely before I like properly started in high school and then that one is when I'm like 27 <laughs> so that's like over a decade of like difference between and I've not changed at all I love it it's great I don't really age I just get fatter and thinner between all my pictures oh man I used to be so fat we've got the photo of me when I used to be proper <laughs> little, Pugsley. when I used to be proper butterball man let's not bring that one up again I don't like that I don't like looking at that photo <laughs> <laughs> Look up the video. If you can find the video, you can, there's always a picture of me out there somewhere with the right little fat knacker, but I don't like it.